now. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be alive. Live with all of you. I'm thirsty now. You're cracking I, open some. I know. What are you I, I, where what tonight? Are you? Well, I, ha I have to go run to um, PetSmart to get cat food, so I'm not having a cocktail yet. <laughs> We're having a uh, watermelon flavored Lacroix. Lacroix. Uh, our cat Winnie just used the litter box, so I'm gonna probably step away for a second. <laughs> are you serious? She's very excited. She is excited. She's very, very excited. Um, we've got with us just kind of strolling in the room right now. We've got Winnie, we've got, who is that? Jolly. Jolly. And I think I saw Holly. Holly. Yep. There she I mean, is. Everybody's, everybody's about to wake up right now. It's uh, 6 30 here in LA County. Um, we are using our happy birthday glasses because and our, you, and we have a happy birthday backdrop panel in the feline frame ensemble back there in honor of our son turning six. Jackson. Yesterday. Yay. You can Six. follow him at trickortreatkid.com. He now needs two hands <laughs> to count how old he is. Aww. Don't ask me how many hands I need. Please. Well, he thinks we're like 25 or something, right? Yeah, we'll stick with that. Yeah. We'll stick with that. Um, so today we're going to be doing uh, something unique, something different. We're going to be doing the five... W's of frame your feline. We might even throw in a how in there an as well. H. An H. See? Well, the. F <laughs> you know how many people are watching? They're going, I know what a five W's is. I don't know. Some people might not know. Some, how? People, might, some people truly might not know. Are you kidding? It's the, no, I'm not it's kidding. the TikTok generation doesn't know what the five W's Probably, are. Probably, and they don't know cursive either. <laughs> oh, no. Linda's in the house. Oh, All hi, right, Linda. Linda. Good to have you here. So, um, yeah, we are, we're going to be kind of doing an overview through the five W's and throwing in the H on top of that. <laughs> and I bet Linda knows what the five W's are. I know. Linda, do you have a cat? Yeah, you know, we've had Linda in this before. She was here before, yeah. yeah. How we many cats? That. We didn't ask her if she was a cat. How many cats you got there, Linda? We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. And Winnie wants a snack. Yeah, Winnie Look at is. This, the snack she's attack. Like ready. Oh, here we go, Winnie. I think I'm gonna go get our ever faithful. Pa I'll get her in a couple minutes. Let's just. So this is the first time. Normally we do these. Uh, like Normally. in the morning. It's our third. Normal. Well, it's a trend now. Mm -mm. It's a trend. How super low. Today. So that yeah. my chair sounds. Scoot up. No, no, I'm trying to give everybody space so they can see. This. Okay. So um, normally we do this like at 11 in the morning. We do it early in the morning, and the cats are all typically asleep except for a couple of them. And we're like, well, let's try it in the evening. Let's see what happens. But you may have noticed, this is kind of a darker room. Uh -huh. So I threw up the, uh, these LED lights that are on tripods and they're blasting now the wall and the cat's it's probably- very hot and the cats are like, what is this? Well, it's not hot, they're LEDs, they're not- No, I mean hot as in it's bright. Oh. Not temperature hot. Got it. <sighs> <laughs> She's hot. Thanks, Brian. Temperature hot. I think she might have a fever. I'm not sure. Aww. A fever for me. <laughs> okay, Here's what do we got? Jolly. Oh, there's Jolly. He's about yes. to turn one. Mm -hmm. He is from the Lang Foundation. We rescued him a yep. months ago. And he's been doing swimmingly here. No swimming, but swimmingly. Do I have to explain what words mean, Christina? Because she doesn't <laughs> think that the, nobody knows what the five W's are, right? Um, jo Jolly's favorite thing to do in the, in the feline frame since he's a kitten is to zoom in and zoom out and zoom in and zoom out right after breakfast. Yeah. It's, he has a lot of energy. He's a, he's a darter, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but Jolly sleeps in the silver one up here. She's always on this side. She loves Jolly is a boy. Not Jolly, Holly. Okay. So we have six <sighs> cats. We don't know how many cats Linda has, but we have six indoor cats. 
And Brian is still having a hard time uh, remembering all their names, although he's get the one that feeds them the most. I get them all confused. I do just, nail trims. It's just really hard for me to comprehend that they're all going to go to college at the same time. They're not. That's going to be expensive. They're not. What? Tootie is the oldest. He's going to graduate and go to college pretty soon. Well, Tootie's... Tootie's been left behind a couple of years. I don't Speaking think... of children, oh, yes. hours is up. I'll be right back. Oh, yes. Jackson, the one whose birthday happened yesterday. He's turned six. He was taking a nap, and now he's heard our voices, and he's decided to wake up. He might make an appearance. I don't know. But I think we're going to try to get him back to bed. Michael Powell. Holy cow. Oh. Uh, speaking of the who, what, why, when, and, and how... One of the uh, hows, some, some people ask us, how do you get this art? How, how are these, where do you get these pieces of artwork? And it, there he is. Yes, he's live. And so Michael Powell, Mike Powell, he's part of our creative community. And um, if you get a chance, take a look at the wildlife artwork panels for Frame Your Feline. A lot of that is from Mike Powell, who's joined in. And we're gonna be doing a Q&A session with our uh, contributing artists. Uh, Michael, we need to talk to him as soon as he gets back from his world tour he's doing. Um, the last I saw, he was in North Dakota, is that where? I'm not sure, I don't know. I... I... Were you in North Dakota, Mike? I'm trying How to- How many cats does Mike have? <laughs> yes, it's a good question. Yeah. So. So anyway, great uh, nature photos. Um, so you gotta do a wave, see so it pops up. Oh, okay. It says, wave. So, so Mike Powell has done amazing <laughs> photography. Um, the City Kitty area, check that out, because he's been to Paris. He's taken pictures of Paris and rooftops, and it's just awesome, awesome. So he's one of our one of our faves. He's one of our faves. Um, but again, we're going to be doing a Q&A with our contributing artists. Uh, we're going to try to do that once a month. And uh, we definitely want to have Mike do it. So I'm back so now. I drove from Virginia to Seattle and back. Wow. That's crazy. That's a long drive. Right? But you, you saw some amazing, I saw, I watched your pictures. If you can, everybody too, not only go to Frame Your Feline and uh, pick yourself up one of these things, um, but check out Mike Powell's, um, uh, your blog, it's his blog. He travels everywhere. If you think the, the pictures that Michael does that are awesome on Frame Your Feline, you have got to check out his blog, subscribe to his blog. He puts up pictures every day and so does amazing amazing work maybe i can add some buffalo and wild horses from north dakota that would be cool to see cats with buffalo and wild horses are you kidding me unbelievable we had somebody we had somebody who got the eagle and um and it looks like the cat is being picked up by the eagle and the cat is in the frame which is hilarious but also kind of frightening too, don't you think? Um, and we've had, Mike can attest to this, every backdrop panel that Mike supplies of like um, wildlife that are really dangerous to cats, they've all been tested and not <laughs> one cat has been injured. Has ever been injured by any of the wildlife in our wildlife panels, okay? So just want you to know that. They're completely 100% safe, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, Christina just added one of Michael's pics. I just did two of them, actually. Uh, the one with the butterfly. That's the butterfly. And that is Paris. It's a little... Let me pull you it want out. To move, no, little, let me move this. The light. I think it's the light. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Let's do a show and tell. Here we, there go. we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Notre Dame. Sunrise. Beautiful. The yeah, the name of that one... That was in the uh, city, city kitty, I believe. And see how easy it is to change the artwork panels out? Yes. Um, yes, it's right there. It's this one. It is called Notre Dame at Dawn. Notre Dame at Dawn under the <laughs> city kitty category, cat-agory. Um, 
and uh, but a lot of his work is there, Paris, and uh, there's a really cool street scene that looks like it's drawn. Brian's looking down at a laptop. I'm looking at all the images just so you know what he's looking at. This brain, <laughs> this brain. Sometimes I need to look at the computer for a little help. You know, everybody feeling me? Everybody jiving? Monarch butterfly in Notre Dame. Yep. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. There's a big difference. Notre Dame. <laughs> I'm going to somebody else join us. If you want to leave a, a comment and let us know how many cats you have and where, where you, you are. Yeah, where, where are you at? at? We'd love to get to know you. That's why we're doing these lives. Um, but we can start with introducing ourselves. Oh, <laughs> should we do that? The, the first W. Yeah, we're doing the five W's and we're throwing in an H and we're going to start with The Who. So it's a great band. I highly recommend you pick up one of their albums, The Who. Oh, it's us. I'm Brian. I'm Christina. And we are the uh, co-creators of... Frame Your Feline. Frame Your Feline. And it's... it. What? <laughs> I'm going to throw no, that... We're not, we're not, on we're not done with that. We're not on the who. We're on the who. We're on the who. Well, what else do you want to know? I'm a Leo. I like long walks yeah. on the beach. And I'm happy to be we're here. We're Frame Your Feline. We are a family-owned business. Couple-owned... Uh, we are a small business at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, we have six cats. We live in Los Angeles County. Uh, our products are manufactured in the USA, handmade. That's who we are. We're proud of our products. We are proud of our we're products. We're not rushing through the W. We are not. Winnie, how are you doing over there? So, so that is the who, is is us and the um the what? The what? The what? So what in what the is heck this? is this? So many people <laughs> when they. When they first see it, they're like, so let me, uh huh? Because sometimes like I'll be, I'll be at, I don't know, a function and I'll whip out my phone and be like, hey, check this out. And I'll show it to them. So they think it's a cat like in a picture frame. So they're like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. It's hanging on your wall. And then they see the cat moving in the frame and, and it's an explosion of happiness, laughter, and what am I watching? And it's not until they see the cat jump out of the frame do they go, wait, what is this? So here's the what, okay? And you can kind of see it on this one a little bit because it's a little angled here. But it's, it's basically, think of it as like a 3D shadow box. It hangs on your wall. It's installed on your wall. And your cat jumps into the frame. And this is real framers material. We do not skimp out we do the real deal this is oh, oh whoa whoa uh oh uh oh main light went out how do i look dark and mysterious right hold on a second let me that? no hold on it's plugged in hmm poppy didn't like that you slamming the uh oh table. hang on everybody there we go there we ah this is poppy I like to pick up all the cats while we're doing these lives just so you can kind of get a, a visualization of size. Poppy is our maybe first largest, second largest cat. She's about as large as a human. She was sleeping She's... in a basket in the dark. Um, so where was I? And I'm not going to get fooled again. A little who reference from Michael over there. I'm not get fooled again. Good song, by the way. Good song. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying, it's like a 3D shadow box that is installed on your wall and your cat jumps into the art. It's where I say, it's where cat and art collide. Uh, it's pretty cool. And our She's cats- She's not happy that I woke her up. <laughs> I'm like, where is she? I don't think they like the lights that are just jetting. Like yeah. it, it honestly looks like the space shuttle is making an entering, you know, it's just kind of shh. Um, but anyway, so it's a 3D system where the cat jumps into the frame and you can take amazing pictures of your cat in the frame. And it's Instagram worthy, let me tell you. Uh, the pictures that we are seeing from our customers are incredible. And um, we get incredible pictures of our cats as well. And you'll see them up on our Instagram. Um, at Frame Your Feline on Instagram, as you know, because you, you're watching. <laughs> That's why you're here. Um, 
Are they gonna f look no, at these two? No, no. Poppy is. She just woke up. I shouldn't have woken her up. I should just let her come out. Okay. We have two boy cats. They are passed out under the bed, hiding. They're uh, a little feral, um, but they'll be up walking around in no time. But maybe the lights are a little bit of a deterrent. So we got the who. We got the what. Well, I kind of explained what the what is. It's where art and cat collide. The cat jumps into the art, and then you can take amazing pictures of your own cat in the art. When you have guests that come over your house, they're gonna see your cat just sitting there looking at you. It's amazing, right? Right, and, right. and the whole thing with us was, before we had Finger Feline, before we had our first like alpha version, yeah. we were living in an apartment in LA, and someone had gifted us this really terrible cat tree. <laughs> And we were very gracious to accept it. It was powder blue, you know, your favorite. It doesn't go with any of your interior design. And um, unfortunately, one of our cats who passed away in January, his name was Frosty. And Frosty really took to the very bottom of the cat tree, which was basically a box with a circle in it. There was no trap door. So anytime we wanted to get him to go to the vet or it get was... his nails trimmed, get, pick up the cat tree, shake it sideways, it was a nightmare. Um, so it didn't, it didn't look nice in our apartment. And also it really encouraged Frosty to be more shy and feral. We'd stuff pillows in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, we were like, mm. and then when we were in our apartment, we were like, do you really think the landlord would be okay if we tried to like, put a bunch of shelves everywhere and little posts and stuff. And we were just nervous about the building. So when we finally bought our home, we were like, what can we do to kind of make our cats have something that's beautiful, but that they love to be in? Right, where it's, where it's a functional piece of art, even if a cat is not in it. Right. And, but when the cat is in it, that's when it just makes it completely uh, epic. Is that, is that a good term? Okay. It's kind of hip. That's, I've seen the word epic tossed around epic. everywhere. It's epic. It's a pick. It's epic when a cat is in front of it, right? Yes? Yeah. So that's what? Mm -hmm. Who, what, where? Well, no, 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 no. The what was also like us creating this idea, like how we were hanging all the artwork in our home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Oh, and, and let me tell you. <laughs> Cat trees, I, is it, why does it seem like I'm the only one that was willing to voice my opinion on cat trees? Those things are monstrosities. They are just absolutely, absurdly, it's like, okay, it's like having Cookie Monster permanently, <laughs> like, in the corner of, you, of your room, you know? It's like... Out of all the puppets, Cookie Monster isn't like my favorite, right? And and out of everything for our cats, a cat tree is probably on the bottom of the list of favorites, okay? And they smell, they get ratty. And when you have friends that come over, you want to just kind of move it out of the room because it's all full of hair and dandruff from the cats, right? Cat trees are just nasty. Nasty. Can I have, can I get a hey man on that one? <laughs> cat trees are nasty. And so um, I feel bad for the cat tree industry because uh, we're gonna knock the socks out of them. Let me tell you something. We got, we got a word and I can't say much more than this, but I've gotten word that there's a certain mm, that is, naming us one of the top cat products for 2022. And we're super excited! Because our goal yes. is to have one from your feline in every room, in every house, of every home that has a cat. <laughs> yes. You like that one? Yeah. How many rooms do I have? <laughs> no, I mean... We have four up right now. We're about to install one in our office, our home office. We, um, and I am giving them treats right now just because we have never done a live or a shoot where we've had the lights and so I just kind of want them to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we had, we had someone who had ordered one, two weeks later, came back, ordered another one because they wanted two for their house. And then like another week after that, I'm buying it for a friend for a present. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, you can keep you. Keep you coming back. back, yes. No worries. No worries, you know. You know, don't don't be shy. 
And yes, Muppet is uh, the uh, animal is yes, my favorite. Yes, you have to read what the comments are because when it replays, nobody knows what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Mike Powell says, let me guess, animal is your favorite Muppet. <laughs> and you are 100% right. When I was growing up as a kid, I had a little, I had a puppet that was animal and, and you can move its eyebrows up and down and everything. And it was like, ah, ah, ah. best character. Who is mine? Yours? Mm -hmm. Gonzo. I don't know. I didn't mean. That. I didn't mean that. That's, oh. You're in trouble. Nobody likes Gonzo. He's kind of the the meekish little wah wah. You're supposed to go. No, I don't like. I know which one is your favorite. Only because I'm thinking it right now. Miss, you're reading. Miss, Miss Piggy. Right. Of course. I told you I had the book. Miss, Miss Piggy. Piggy's Guide to Life. Yes, I had her book growing up. Hardcover. It's at my mom's house somewhere in the. Hiya, <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> Of course. I never thought we'd be talking about the Muppets Kermit, on Instagram Live. Yeah, I mean, you know, Kermit is to the Muppets as Gilligan is to Gilligan's Island, right? Right? But, yeah, Beaker. 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 Oh, Beaker, yeah. Beaker. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, we were talking about cleaning the cat trees. This is, somebody asked me, um, mm -hmm. this is a Zoom groom. And we use it for our cats, but we also use it because I just tidied up the uh, feline frames before we started. I use this to clean the little carpeted area. And the hair comes. And the hair balls come right off. Not hair balls, hair but ball. just like the shedding. So I just kind of give it a little like this. And then I just clean this beforehand, but then there would be a little bit of cat fur. And I like to do that hair like balls. once a month, but we just changed out. The frame styles, if you were joining us the other day or you rewatched the, the live play of uh, the second Instagram, we had our gold frames. Our gold frames. We did. We had the gallery gold up there. Tonight, we swapped them out. We've got the contemporary silver right there, and we've got the traditional cherry wood right over there. Again, these are actual real framing materials that professional art framers use. We never cut corners, except when we're making these. <laughs> oh boy. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, completely solid, 100% solid. And- um, Premium wood? It's a premium- Hardwood? No. A premium- Premium wood. Okay. It's real wood from a real tree out in my backyard. We're running out of trees. <laughs> We're running out of trees. I, uh, I, yeah. I'm kidding. We have Joshua trees here. That's... <laughs> I'm kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. Um, but no, the actual real wood, premium wood. Um, and they are all painted with Sherman Williams paint. Beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And they're carpeted. Premium and the paint. pile is low. I don't think we have a demo one out tonight. And, um, and family owned and operated. Mm-hmm. Yes. Up, oh, Star Shiners is here. Oh, hello. Hi, Star Shiners. Do you have any cats? You have to go type in the comments and let us know if you have any cats. Does Mike have a cat? I think Mike has a dog. Mike has a, a dog. dog. But I think Mike had cats. I know Mike had cats growing up. Right. But I'm not sure. But we all love cats, you know? Brian didn't used to love cats. I, d I did not know the way of the cat. I didn't understand cats. I've never seen a cat ever in my entire life until I met Christina. Never knew they existed. I was like, what kind of animal is that? It's a joke. It's a joke. Which W are we on now? <laughs> for those of you joining in, I'm Christina. This is Brian. We are from Frame Your Feline. We thank you for joining us on Instagram Live or watching the replay. Um, we yeah. have the coolest new product for cats that you have ever seen. Nobody has ever seen anything like this. We know that because we did a ton of research. Um, basically think of this as a cat super highway. Your cats can jump in and out of the frames. It's a perch, it's a cat bed. They sleep in it, they judge you. We usually sit back when we have dinner and they just kind of stare and watch us while we're eating. Yeah, so that's part of the, the what. Wait, who, what, where? So well, I want to talk about... <laughs> Well, so I'm trying to figure out which. Let's make this easy. Let's well, I'm trying to figure out which W this would fall under, which is people ask, okay, um, do, do I have to train my cat how to get in the frame? You know, um, 
Yes, the only thing that you need to do, you don't need to train them. Just don't shoot big LED lights <laughs> at them because they don't apparently right like now that. they're not a, a fan of this. But this is a dark room, so I had to throw some light up. So at least you see that. So this um, is Winnie. She is six. She has feeling vestibular syndrome, but she doesn't feel it. She just has a little head tilt. So uh, she's from the Cat's Meow, whoops, Animal Rescue. I believe we're at 100% with our purchasers and even prior to that when we had beta testers that cats, their cats and the people who've purchased it, the feedback has been great because they're like, the cat just gets in it. Like they feel like they're protected. And that was kind of the cool discovery was that the frame itself with the, t the upper shelf and the lower shelf really- Look how gorgeous he looks. It really creates this feeling of being in a box. And if anybody, you know, everybody who owns a cat knows cats love boxes. They love to get into things. Amazon boxes. <laughs> right, and so this ends up a thing that they get into and they love to just sit and stare out. And um, that's what's really great about it. One of the things that we hated, and we've talked about this before, is we love celebrating the holidays with our cats, but dressing them up in any of the like PetSmart or uh, what, what's the other place? PetSmart and Petco. And you get those like outfits for like 10 bucks, right? And you put it on your cat. And what does the cat do? <clears throat> right? Just falls right over. Because they hate the costumes. They don't like to be dressed in the costumes. So like a big thing we're gonna be pushing very, very soon in September is our holiday collection of artwork panels um, to put the backdrop behind your cat of a winter scene or Christmassy type of backdrops. Legit, this has been or, retired. This is a Frosty's yeah. um, outfit and he would crawl on the ground and try to get out of it and hated us. Yeah, so you don't, stop the insanity. Don't have your cat hate you. Simply get artwork panels. Don't buy these that, leprechaun hats that don't sit on your cat's ears. People must like duct tape underneath the hat to get them on their cats because our yeah. cats hate it. It doesn't work. No. And Brian's like, why are we spending money on this? So now it's easy because you could just slide in a backdrop and then put your cat in and you're done. Or the cat just jumps in and now you can snap pictures of your cat for the holidays. Easy, peasy. And they still love you, which is kind of a good thing. You never want a cat on your bad side, right? Didn't Jackson Galaxy have my cat from hell, right? It was the one, right? Yeah. Oh, that is. This one says. This one says. Chillax. Now, do they see that backwards? I don't, yes, I think they okay, do. Okay, it's not printed backwards. <laughs> you have to hurt using your yeah. print <laughs> with Michelangelo. So that's a cool one. That is, um, uh, what is her name? Hold on one second. She's a contributor. Uh, she's in the creative community. You can always go to About on our website, About Meet the Creatives, and you can read up on our contributors. Um, which is really, 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 really cool. And not only um, do we have- Amanda Jones, that's who it is, yeah. And not only do we have photography, like Michael's contributions, we have paintings. Actual digital reproductions of paintings. Um, one of our big paint contributors, painting contributors, <laughs> artists, uh, is an artist out of the Adirondacks. Uh-huh. And goes by the name CRM. And uh, it was great because he was like, oh, wow, I want to get cats in front of my art. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let's do it. You know, let's and, put some And since pictures. Michael's watching, we can talk about the effect that you Oh, so this is really cool. So Michael, um, Mike Powell had done, taken this. It was a photo and in fact, I believe the story, and when we have, when we, have, when we do our Q&A with our contributors, um, we'll have Mike go through the story again, but this was a picture he took at night and had just rained, and there was this great reflection uh, on the ground, and there's a doorway here, and he, 
I believe was living up there for a short stint when he was staying, he stayed for several months, I believe it was in, in France. And so he had taken this picture and it just looked awesome. It looked awesome as a photo. But then we put it through a digital, uh, basically a digital artistry, artist kind of process. And it took it and it really made it look like somebody had hand drawn it. And it's just a really cool effect. And it really kind of brought out some of the colors of the shops and of that wet cement. And it's just really neat. And if you can, go to the website because you can click on the pictures and you can see close up of what they look like and the detail. Uh, just really, really cool. And all of this is a really vibrant print. These prints are, are top quality. Um, people ask us all the time, is that on paper? What is that on? And it's no, it's a, it's kind of thick. It's a, it's a semi thick, um, uh, semi rigid, uh, uh, thermoplastic that this is printed on and it's designed for like to be kind of out in the elements. And so cats can kind of paw at it. They can even put up a hairball on it. You could just wipe it down with a wet cloth. The artwork will stay perfect. And that's one of the beautiful things about this. The art really can't get damaged, okay? We did a drop test from an eight-story building and um, <laughs> it did not shatter. It's okay. Was David Letterman there with the <laughs> ones? Uh, Oh, so Mike, Michael. Um, oh, Blue Sky, Ragdolls, oh, I wanna wave. And we've got a couple. There we go, a couple of people joining. Oh, who's this, Cornelia? Giselle? It's okay. Yeah. Giselle, here we go. Wait, wave, if wave. If you're joining us now, let us know how many cats you have. This is uh, Holly. She's a kitten. She's a forever kitten. She's about to turn one. And there she is. Dainty little thing. Um, so Michael was saying that he was at an Airbnb studio apartment up on the sixth floor of that building. Six floors oh. of steps with no elevator. Ooh. So let me tell you something. It's like my old apartment in New York. <laughs> You know, I bet Mike has the best calves <laughs> going up and down those. I think he used to bike. Right? Bike, or, bike or run. I'm trying to remember. I think, no, running marathons. Yes, yes, the Boston True. Marathon. Yeah. So, so, somebody wanted to know what the size is of this. Okay, so you ready? 23 inches wide by 18 inches high with a nine inch depth. Plenty of room for a grown cat to turn around. Or two. We've had two. We've had two cats had two at the same kittens. time. We've had a cat and a kitten. Yeah, they love just hanging out. Two at a time sometimes up there. So it's really, really cool. And there's carpeting on oh, that shelf girl. too. There's, there's this really cool gray, low-pilled carpet, grooved carpeting. And cats just like to dig into it. And that's uh, on the shelves and also on the bottom part of, of the feline, of frame, the feline ensemble. frame ensemble. So, so the cats jump in, they feel nice and comfortable. They love just sleeping in there and obviously snacking, yes. snacking up there. Snacking, too. judging, perching, jumping in, jumping out. It is a really cool vertical space to get that exercise in. And then also a great place to just chill out horizontally. Uh, on this side, we have a fireplace, so in the winter time, Winnie claims that frame, and she'll just sit there from the, be the beginning of building the fire, yeah, and just cuddle up all night. It's very cool. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can type them in the comments area, um, and if you're joining us now, you can also let us know where you are watching us from. Um, because our demographic is pretty big. We have followers from all over the world on Instagram, obviously. Korean cats and Russian cats and South American cats. So we like to know where you guys are, um, how many cats, where you're at. And if you have any questions, you can always leave a message afterwards in the comments area. And if you're late to the party, your favorite Muppet. <laughs> okay. That was a little earlier on, but you can chime in what your favorite Muppet is. Mine's Animal and Christina's is... Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, yeah. There weren't enough girls on the Muppets. I won't go there. There weren't enough girls on the scary. Smurfs either. No. You're going to go down that road? <laughs> I was Gargamel the leader on the Smurfs anyway. How do you remember that guy's name anyway? I don't know. 
Yeah. That's crazy. Um, oh. the detail. Okay, and... So you should know that... Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. What the... <laughs> what did she just do? She just jumped. Okay. She just all the time. Okay. Um, you can change out the frame. So these frames come undone. There are little screws under here and on the top. So you can switch this out if you watch the replay of the live we did the other day. You saw gold and you saw a gold here. Today we thought we would mix it up. That's the cherry, cherry traditional wood. cherry wood, and this is the contemporary silver. Very cool. Yes. Um, so we got the who, we got the what, we got the where. And the when. When. So, so we started this process, we had an idea back in, was it before Jackson or when I was pregnant with Jackson? I think you were pregnant with Jackson. So like 20, 2015, 2016, we had a conversation. Right, because we were like, hmm. We don't like this. Cat tree. Yeah, I was very angry. About shelves. I was very angry at the cat tree, you know? And I still hold a grudge. <laughs> and then we had a chat with an engineer that we know very well. And his... His brain... Was started, was you know. Moving. And, and, he, and you and you and he were kind of the ones that were like, well, not just have the cat sitting in the frame, but let's send it somewhere. Let's do something with it. Right. That so, was the artwork panel. So we had the initial idea. idea of the framing and the shelves and creating that, putting your, making your cat look like art on the wall. And then it, the engineer, I believe, was let's let's put a picture. Well, let's put pictures behind the cat. Let's give it some. Right? Depth and send it somewhere, which is cool because it's really hard to bring your cat on vacation with you. Not everybody has a cat that will take to a leash. Not everybody wants to carry their cat on a plane, but now you can send your cat to Paris. <laughs> to Paris. From, from your home in LA County. Or up into the Adirondacks. And, yeah, the Adirondacks. Yeah, right. Good. So, Lots of coast represented. And also, yes, um, Michael has commented, be sure to tell them to check out your videos about how easy it is to install the frames. And the other day we had a, a person asking, how do you install the frames? And so we created a poster that actually comes with your order to help you align everything so install goes smoothly and everything is level. But then we also shot some really fun and I hope you think entertaining videos that are on our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. Frame Your Feline is the account, but it's also threaded through on our website to yes. install videos. So if you go to frameyourfeline.com, you'll see that. And um, to be 100% honest and transparent with you, I have never ever used a drill before we did this install video. I didn't practice, I was super nervous. Um, Brian helped me out. Our son played the director in the corner. I think he was like three. No, but you time. did it all on your own. And it was so easy. I was yeah. super nervous because we just bought a house and we just paid a lot of money to get rid of the avocado kitchen yeah. that we painted gray mm -hmm. to make kind of everything uh, just neutral. kind of neutral, mm -hmm. yes. And so um, the installation was very easy and enjoy those videos uh, and have a cocktail while you watch them because I sure did. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> so I was just gonna bring up a couple things because uh -oh. I know that we're gonna wind this show down in a sec, but um, this, is, this is a cool, photo when you're so we have a we have a category called roads streets and paths and when your cat sits in front of this one it looks like they're sitting on the train tracks and you can literally get an amazing picture of your cat looking like they're out on the tracks it's really 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 cool um i love this picture and um who did this picture who took this uh, that would be you. Oh, that would be me. <laughs> I'm also a contributor. <laughs> um, and then... That is a location um, out here in L.A. County. Yep. And then here's, a, uh, here's another one. This is a bee on an almond, a blooming almond tree, right? In Bakersfield, in Bakersfield. California. But the, the, the colors and the sharpness is just absolutely gorgeous and makes an awesome backdrop so check out the nature section um we, there's some really great artwork panels there we have a halloween one so you're going to be seeing the holiday section coming up here and again somebody asked us about holiday orders um we'd say get them in get them in like what late september i, I would say as soon as possible yeah as soon as possible because every 
feline frame ensemble. Every feline step shelf is handmade right here in the good old U.S. of A. All right. Does anybody have any? Oh, there's a Christmas one. My hair's a really fun one. And your cat will be in front of it. So it says Meowy Christmas. Meowy Christmas. Um, and just know when you purchase a feline frame ensemble, every feline frame ensemble comes with two free artwork panels of your choice, which is kind of neat. So you could have the fun of swapping them out and then getting more art you whenever you want. Me? Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? Any thoughts? Wait, who, what, where, when, how? We, no, why? Why? Who, what, where, when, why? Why? We, we, we answer. That. Yeah, yes. why? And now we're on how. How do you get one? Get one by visiting us on our website at frameyourfeline.com. Frameyourfeline.com. Oh, goodness. And when you Frame go to our website, feline. make sure you sign up. Uh, for our newsletter, it's free. We have an issue coming out. We just did a new blog post. We're gonna feature a really cool interview we did, a webcast, I think, or the podcast. I'm not sure. We've been getting around yep. the internet uh, with a Cat Crazy Channel and Let's Chat About Cats podcast and Catitude podcast. And um, we have another one coming up. Yep. Uh, right before Christmas, we've already recorded it. That's how cool we are. We are already recording things <laughs> six, seven, eight months in advance. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so if anybody has any questions, um, right now would be a great time. Uh, yeah. What, I, do you, what, do you, what do you got? What you got for me? Oh, uh... We try to keep these like 30 minutes long, so we're, you know, we're at yeah. the 41 minute marker. Our son only came out once. He wanted to let me know that there was a picture of Oh, and really? I said, go take your nap. You got it's it. late. A little insect. <laughs> All right. Well, um, well, this has been awesome. Yeah. I, I, love, I love doing these. I just love chatting and then seeing new friends coming online. Look at them. And talking about the Muppets. See, there is never a dull show. No, and they're always different. <laughs> Um, so if you're watching this on the replay or you're watching it now and you kind of came in late, leave a comment and let us know if you have a special time of day that you really like to uh, see us do these lives. Tonight was a little rough with the lights with our cats. Um, maybe we'll do something before the sun goes down. I think, yeah, in the I future, think better for us. I think we're going to have to uh, do it a little earlier. Yeah. Because yeah, okay. these lights are... Maybe we'll do it really early, like 5 o'clock LA time so people on the, on the East Coast can have these a cup of coffee and... Do uh, an Instagram live with us. <laughs> cool. Well, this has been awesome. Yeah, you guys you great. Guys. It's been fun. And we'll see you on the next one. When are we doing another one of these? Mm, probably over the weekend. You want to do one? I think we're going to try Saturday. Saturday. Morning. Saturday. Morning. Saturday. 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 Friday we have hula class, so I'm not sure. Let's do Saturday. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Bye, everyone. All right. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.